Good morning, everyone. I'm sorry that we're not meeting in person today, but we still wanted to go and make sure that you got a Bible story today. And so today, I'm going to have help with my kids, Eli and Gwenny, and we're going to share one of Eli's favorite stories, and that's the story of Elijah. And he loves it, one reason, because he was named after him, but uh, he also really loves this story. And so today, they're going to help me with that. But we're going to talk today about how God provided for Elijah and that God provides for us and he helps us uh, with our basic needs. The, uh, there's a scripture where Jesus is talking and he says, look at the birds and how they don't have to worry about where they're going to get their next meal or where they're going to have to sleep or those things. And just like God takes care of the birds, God takes care of you and he takes care of me. And so as we look at the story of Elijah, uh, we're going to be looking in 1 Kings chapter 17, if your parents want to go and look at those as well. But we're going to tell the story of Elijah and how, how God provided for him while he was in the wilderness. And it starts off with the fact that Elijah was told by God to go to the king of Israel and tell him it's not going to rain or any moisture in the air until he decides. And when he had done this, Elijah became kind of worried, but God was going to provide for him. And God said, I need you to leave here and you're going to go and camp by a brook. God had told Elijah that he needs to go and camp by the brook. And so he did. And every morning, God had sent the ravens to bring Elijah meat and bread. And he sent them to him every night for dinner as well. After a while of no rain, you can imagine that the brook started to dry up because there was no water to fill it. And when that happened, Elijah became very thirsty. God, I'm very thirsty. There's nothing to drink because the brook dried up. And God told Elijah, it is okay, for I have provided for you. If you go to the next town, there is a widow there who will feed you and shelter you. God, I'm going to go there right now. And as God had said, there was a poor widow who was gathering sticks in a nearby city. Oh, can I please have a cup of water? Of course you may. Also, I'm very hungry, so can I please have something to eat? I am so sorry, but I do not, but I am very poor and I do not have a any more food to give you. In fact, I'm gathering these sticks for me and my son's last meal. Oh, well that's okay because as long as I am with you, God will provide for us food and water. Okay, let's do this. Okay. As I said, this is all the bread I have. Don't worry, God will provide. Let's go eat. And as God had said to Elijah, each morning when it came time to make meals, the widow found that there was enough to provide. Oh my goodness, there's bread again. I can make lunch. Thank you, God. You know, I really hope that you enjoyed that story. But I think about that story and it really drives home the point that God does care. He loves each one of us. He loves me and he loves you. And he wants to provide for you. And a lot of times we can worry about what we're going to eat or those things. But God says, I will provide. If you look in Matthew, Jesus is talking to his disciples. And in Matthew chapter 6, he says, uh, 6 verse 25, he says, That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life. Whether you have enough food or drink or enough clothes to wear. Isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. They do not plant, harvest, or store food in barns, for your heavenly Father feeds them. And are you not far more valuable to him than they are? 
Can all of your worries add a moment to your life? And don't worry about your clothing, for look at the lilies in the field. Think of all those beautiful flowers. And look at how they grow. They, do, uh, they don't work or make clothing, yet Solomon in all of his glories is not dressed as beautiful as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for the wild flowers that are here today and thrown into a fire tomorrow, he will most certainly care about you. God cares about you. And you look at how he takes care of all the, uh, all the uh, animals you see and you see all of the beautiful landscapes. God cares for all those things. But you're more valuable to him than they are because you are made in his image. You are one of his children and God loves you. And so I look forward to seeing you all next week. I hope that you guys realize that God will provide and that God loves you. So we're going to pray and we'll see you next week. God, I thank you so much that you care about each of these students um, and everyone watching this video, that you love them and that you will provide for them. And God, as we saw with Elijah, that we just have to pray to you and have faith in you because God, you, you care so much about us. God, just go and allow us to do that in our lives. Uh, God, take care of us during this time with the snow. Allow us to have fun in it, um, but keep us safe, especially if we have to get on the roads or anything like that. God, we pray this in your awesome and holy name. Amen.